hi this is a quick unboxing and review of the Psycho Smart Touch LED desk lamp. This lamp is 10 watt. Uh, some of the features in this lamp include a really large LED panel, a vibrating reminder, you have a temper type uh, touch glass, a uh, different angle to turn it, you have dimming control, memory control, and then you have no flickering mode and you also have a USB charging port. Uh, let's open it up and take a look at it. Uh, we have the user guide, have all the instructions you need here, explaining all the different parts. It also explains how to use it. There are some tilting angle, and in the back, some troubleshooting stuff. You have a power brick. You have the lamp itself, which is wrapped in this nice plastic to protect itself. And look like that's it. Just let's take a look at the lamp. Look like everything is already pre-assembled, so we don't have to assemble anything. It looked like the lamp was shipped like this, and you can see this panel is flipped backward. You can actually flip it up and flip the panel all the way back. That kind of gives you an idea how far it goes. This is all metal. This is plastic, and this whole thing is metal. It can also tilt this direction, and this also go up and down. So for the touch control panel here, very nice piece of glass. You have the on-off button, you have the sleep button, you have reading mode. You have basically relax mode, and then you have these two adjustments for different brightness setting. According to the menu, you get about 255 so level, so that's a lot of level. And as you are holding it down and changing the different level, you will get a vibrating feel of it. So you kind of, when it max out, you will you will know. Also on the side here, you have a USB port to charge your mobile device. Uh, nothing on the front, and in the back, at the bottom of the base, there is a power plug-in. I want to show the various different angles you can set with this guy. So as I was mentioning earlier, this panel flip all the way like that. You have this arm that can tilt in this direction. Looks like it can flip almost all the way around. You also have this part of the arm that can pivot up and down. And you have this part here that can go back and forward like that. You can also rotate the lamp, swivel it. The only concern I have with swiveling is depending on how flat your surface is. If you have it leaning toward a little bit like this, the lamp might fall over. So you have to have a really big flat surface. It is a little bit um, top heavy in this case. But normally it's not too bad if you have a flat surface. You can see when there's power, the light is lit on. I'm going to go ahead and turn this light off. Uh, very dark, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And you can see when it comes on, it kind of faded in. And then you have the two different sleeping mode, and you can hear it vibrating almost. This is more warm, and you can hold down. The longer you hold down, the more warm it gets. And you can press this. The longer you hold this down, the colder it gets. And then you have the various different lighting mode. You can hold it all the way down, as you can see. Get really bright. When it gets all the way to the end, it vibrates. And as you're putting it down, it slowly dim. And you can see this is the lowest it will get. Uh, you also have a sleep mode that will basically dim the light down to a really low setting and kind of warmish to let you go to sleep. You can switch back to the mode again by just pressing this button. I want to show the various lighting condition. So let's start it with the warmest light possible and the brightest possible. And then let's go to the dimmest. That's the dimming. Now let's go to the coldest all the way to the image and then let's go to the brightest of the coders. I have a short little USB cable block here on the side I'm going to go ahead and plug in my phone, you can see it's getting charged see my phone is now charging I want to show you the various lighting I had it pointed toward the wall right here the lamp also have what they call a double memory what that means is that if you lose power the next time it come back on it will remember the exact intensity of the light and also the color of the light so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off right now I like how it faded out to go off and then I'm going to turn it back on come right back to the exact setting I'm going to go ahead and change it to a little bit warmer setting here yep, go ahead and turn it off go ahead and turn it back on and you're right back to that warm color and exactly the same intensity the Cycle 10 Watch Smart Touch LED desk lamp 
it's a very nice looking lamp with a lot of different features I really like the panel and I especially really like how you can tilt the lamp in various different angles really nice for you can create some really interesting combination angle such as this one right now some other thing I really like is I like the glass panel even though it is fingerprint mounted I really like the reflection on it and with the glass panel you don't have to worry about it getting scratched which is really nice a lot of lamp has plastic panel and they get scratched and it's not very cool uh, the control panels are very cool and they work very well very responsive with no issues uh, the added touch of the USB port is also nice another thing that's very well done is the plug in the back really heavy base with a nice plug and the plug is always here at the bottom which is very nice when your plug is up here it gets in the way so this is well done and I really like it another thing I really like about this lamp is in fact it does not flicker at all as you can see this is a you know through a camera it can capture really high speed and usually with LED lamp you can see it flicker but in this case you notice there's no flicker at all even on the high setting and now there's something that I want to point out that you might not like uh, again the glass it get dirty and it get fingerprint really easy it will attract dust the arm and the light itself also can attract fingerprint and oil easily the other problem we have is when you rotate it to certain side for example like this it can easily tip over so you gotta make sure you have a well stable base uh, this table is not completely flat so you need to have a really nice flat table to prevent this i hope you enjoy this review and if you have any question please let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you